do have a metro system, you do. but it's scary uh -huh. um, and it's quite dirty and it's not that safe. From what I've experienced so far, we've been on the metro like three, four times. Uh -huh. It's very clean and wow. people respect each other's space. Mm -hmm. Just the city is really quiet. Many people, but really quiet. What do you do here in Taiwan? I'm actually managing Volkswagen, the Volkswagen passenger cars. The Volkswagen? Yes. Wow! Uh, also in, in total Taiwan mm -hmm. is the variety, you know, you can get everything. Yeah? Have you ever tried this restaurant? I actually know the chef. You should definitely go try it you sometimes. You should give me the address of it so that I can try it once, yeah? Okay, I, I actually have a sudden idea. How about let's go right now? Right now? Yes! <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Lunch is on me, but... Um... Le but let me just... Come, I, I just shook at my diary. Why Seriously? Not? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Seriously? Yeah. Are you, how about lunch is on me? And is it possible that we drive a Volkswagen's car? Uh, uh, this Volkswagen's car? <laughs> you ask a lot of things to me, yeah? But uh, let, yes. me, let me see, let me arrange. Is it happening? Yeah, she is coming. YT 频道 Peggy FO Show 由双语主持人 Peggy 所经营。日前，他于信义区街访外国人，分享他们对于台湾的印象。没想到，其中一位受访人竟是知名汽车品牌福斯总裁。过程中 ，Peggy 更成功邀请他一同前往推荐的餐厅用餐。I'm Hannah.、Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, California. What brought you here in Taiwan? Business trip. I'm here with my colleague that flew in this morning, 5 a.m. and Yeah, my name is Julie. Emma, where are you from? France. What brought you here in Taiwan? Studying. Yeah, I'm studying Chinese. What made you want to learn Mandarin? Is it for work? Not really. We're like in the Asian studies, so I had to learn a new language, so I chose Chinese. So how long have you been here in Taiwan? One day. <laughs> Two days. Hi. And I'm Hansen. Where are you from? I'm from Singapore. And you? I'm from Belgium. How long have you been here in Taiwan?、Uh, half a year now. Almost. Uh, two years plus. What brought you here in Taiwan? I came in for study. University? Yeah,、Where、university. Do you learn Mandarin here? I learn Mandarin, but he also learned Mandarin、uh -huh. before coming here. But, but you're here for a degree? I'm、uh, here for the Yuan Zhongxin for language. My name is Stefan. What brought you here in Taiwan? I'm actually working here. Are you working in one of these posh buildings? I'm looking at this fancy building over there. Yes. What do you do here in Taiwan? I'm actually managing Volkswagen, the Volkswagen passenger cars. The Volkswagen. Yes. Wow. Okay, so how long have you been here? Six months now. How long will you be here? Normally, it's an expatriate contract. Like in my case, it's about three years, three to five years. So you've been in other countries before? Yes, I've been. What are other countries that you've been? I've been in South Africa. I've been to India. I've been stint in Spain. So a couple of countries. Right. And now, lovely Taiwan.、No? I had beef noodles. How do you like、plate? that on the plate?、Oh. I don't know if that counts, but it was yeah,、good. yeah, it, yeah. So of... which airline did you take? China Airlines.、Oh, okay, then that yeah, that counts. So, any plans here that you wanna? Any place that you wanna visit? The night market. For sure, you should definitely try that. But、They're、my、really... boss says I'm not allowed to eat too much because she doesn't want me to get sick. Oh, you won't. You so, won't. Those、I、are her work. Playing. Yeah. After I do the work, I think then I can eat it. Then、uh -huh. she's okay with eating. All right.、Eating. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> That's our rule. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried the the breakfast restaurants. Uh huh. It's something like a crepe. Oh, like omelet, right? Yeah.、Uh -huh. It's called、uh, camping. Yes. Uh -huh. I feel like that's one of foreigners' favorite. Every time、It's、when I ask them、yeah. about their favorite breakfast, they'll always tell me tempeh.、Yeah. Have you tried that one? No. You should. You should try. So you can、sure. ask them to make it、um, vegetarian. Okay. I want to try bubble tea. Oh, bubble tea. 饮食当然也很不一样。我是北欧人，所以我们饮食比较清淡。然后台湾的都很重口味。对哦。然后我们又很喜欢甜，但是。比如说台湾，我很喜欢挂包，是挂包哦。嗯，对，我们刚才我们刚好也是刚才去吃的松山。那有没有你很不喜欢的食物？就是很甜的。台湾的早餐有点吃腻了，不好意思。可是你喜欢蛋饼吗？蛋饼，我哇，这个跟我自己国家很不一样。在我家人他们他们会说，一个星期可以吃两三个鸡蛋。你、嗯、们是一天会吃两三个鸡蛋？哦啊啊、我觉得很不一样。<笑>我的我那个胃口就是不太适合我，但是。
就慢慢的也可以适应。How about food wise for you? I really like the beef noodle. There's one in Singapore, Taiwan's beef noodle, but it's much different here.、Mm. It's better. Is there type of food that you don't like? Probably all vegetable things related. I'm、like、glad you didn't say stinky tofu. Well, stinky tofu. The smells is probably the bad one.、Uh -huh. I, I don't really like it. Have you tried? 我喜欢你，很好吃。真的？对。你第一次没有被味道吓到吗？还好，我觉得还好。Actually, what I really appreciate here in Taipei,、uh, also in in total Taiwan,、mm -hmm. is the variety. Now you can get everything. Yeah, from、mm. the Sichuan, Cantonese. You want to have a pizza? That is pizza, true. And、true. obviously, classical Taiwanese、mm -hmm. food. Yes. So, I actually tried almost everything now, up to even duck tongue, which was a little bit interesting to me. But、um, I really tried it because、wow. if you if you don't try it, you can't judge it. Yeah. But it's it's interesting. It's something different. Since that you mentioned it, have you ever tried this restaurant? I actually know the chef. It's called Der Lube. Is that how you pronounce it? Lion in German. To be very honest, I haven't、uh, been in any German restaurants here. So really?、Oh. Then you you must try this one because they have really good pork knuckle. They have really good German sausage. And also, of course, German beer. All right. Yes. That yes. sounds not too bad, huh? It is really good. You should definitely go try it. You、sometimes. should give me the address of it so that I can try it once. Yeah. Okay. I I actually have a sudden idea. How about let's go right now? Right now. Yes. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Lunch is on me, but、uh, um. Le but let me just become. I I just shook at my diary. Seriously. Yeah. Sure. He's checking his schedule. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Seriously,、yeah. are you are we free this afternoon? Yeah. Okay. And another idea just came up. It might be okay. You can say no if it's too much. How about lunch is on me, and is it possible that we drive a Volkswagen's car? Uh, uh, this Volkswagen's car. <laughs> you ask a lot of things to me, yeah. But yeah, let、yes. me let me see. Let me arrange. But then the food must be really good, yeah. I promise, it's really, really good. We just. Is it happening? Yeah, she's coming. But she, did, she wasn't confused. Like, what's no, happening? No, no. Does this happen a、But、lot? She, she knows me now since six months. Sometimes I'm doing a little bit strange stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right,、yeah. that's awesome. We haven't tried yet, but、uh -huh. like bubble tea and also. Tinky tofu,、uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Please, you have to try. So, have you tried any Taiwanese food yet? Uh, not yet. <laughs> you should. Is there anything on your list that you want to try? I don't know everything. I don't、okay. know. Oh, I just want to discover the dishes. I would、everything. recommend night night market. Yeah. Because there are a lot of local food there. I would say beef noodles. It's、okay. a must, and bubble tea. I don't know if、yeah. you like sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it's a yeah, stereotype, but just because you're Croatian, so I just assume that you <laughs> <laughs> love sweet. It's a stereotype,、yeah. but I'm here for that too. So. <laughs> In general, like it's much cleaner here. It seems much more organized.、Mm -hmm. It seems much more fast-paced. It seems that everything's like quite connected.、Mm -hmm. Like LA, everything's very spread out, far apart, and we drive cars everywhere. But it、right. seems like you can take the metro,、uh -huh. come in and come out, and just like go to your favorite restaurant. Right. And there seems to be a lot of common places where people can sit around and hang out with their friends. Right. Have you tried the? Metro system? Yeah, we do have a metro system. You do, but it's scary,、uh -huh. um, and it's quite dirty,、uh -huh. um, and it's not that safe. From what I've experienced so far, we've been on the metro like three, four times.、Uh -huh. It's very clean. And people respect each other's space,、mm -hmm. and I like that you have to stand to the side and wait for everyone to come off, right, right, and then come back in. So I feel like everyone's just more respectful of、mm -hmm. each other's space and has manners. Just the city is really quiet,、uh -huh. really, really. Although there are many people, but really quiet. So many trees, like it's a city in a forest. Uh huh. 可能就是风景，只是在路上走的时候，我日常中。看到的跟我自己国家历史完全不一样。This is so high tech. It's fancy, huh? It is. I, I do have to imagine this、uh, golf now turns 50 this year. Oh.、Mm -hmm. So 50th anniversary. Do you drive here in Taiwan? Yeah, yeah, I'm driving. How do you think driving is different in Taiwan and in other countries? First of all, I think that Taiwanese people are super disciplined.、Huh? Do you think so?、Oh, With all the scooters flying on the street, yeah, and freak you out? Yeah, but I'm talking about the cars when they drive. No, so you 
you hardly see um, aggressive drivers. Yeah? So um, the only thing which is a little bit uh, things you have to get used to is Type D. It's very narrow. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it is true. And you have all these massive scooters. Now I always call them like bees. Now, yes, this is so yes, they are. Yeah. And you don't think they drive aggressively? No. Hmm. It's it's a really okay. Is that because you've been to um, South Africa and India? Yeah, when I was there, I had a driver. Mm -hmm. And I was really, literally, sometimes I was only sitting and watching that. It was just amazing. Isn't it just like a show? Yeah, you would just see a crossing and all the cars would just come into the middle. Mm -hmm. And then somehow they muggled through. No way. It was really amazing. How about in South Africa? Because I've heard people telling me it's kind of not safe. Is it, it is true? Not safe, yeah. You have to be um, vigilant, no? so that means you have to constantly look 360. Ah. Yeah, uh, so, for instance, the recommendation at night mm -hmm. is that you don't stop at red lights. You watch and then you go over. Because it's, it's, it can be dangerous. To be quite honest, mm -hmm. people seem much more open than how they would be perceived internationally. Uh -huh. That makes sense. I feel like people have this sort of perception that, mm -hmm. at least I don't know in Taiwan, at least that everyone is kind of shy. I noticed uh -huh. some people are shy, right. but I've seen more people smile and mm. how are you and mm -hmm. thank you and try to talk instead of like backing away right. in the corner. So I'm surprised by that. And I think that stereotype is not true. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is it different from what you thought it would be here in Taiwan? Um, to be quite honest, I have uh -huh. a few Taiwanese friends. Just throughout the years, they've always been quite open mm -hmm. so I wasn't that shocked but right. I realized how wrong that perception was uh -huh. that coming to Asia like everyone's quiet uh -huh. and they won't talk to you like that hasn't been my, my experience so far people don't look at each other in the eyes when you talk to them yeah maybe? they seem a bit shy mm -hmm. or it's not culturally the same they look away i was also told uh, by my neighbor in the plane mm -hmm. the, not to look at people in the eyes <sighs> where is that person from uh, taiwan oh really say that because that's not what my parents taught me really? since I was a kid. They always tell me, look people in the eyes when you talk to them. It is really rude if you don't look in people's okay. eyes. So I think, I don't know, <laughs> that's not what I've learned. Mm. If you ask an Indian, are the parts coming on time? Mm -hmm. What's it? No problem, yes sir. So they can you tell their yes and no? You can see it in the swinging of the head. If it's pretty slow, uh -huh. you know there's something not right. Yeah. Okay. In Taiwan, they mm -hmm. wouldn't give you an answer. They look at you. Taiwan is very distanced. Do you feel like Taiwanese are more indirect oh, yes. when it comes to no, answers? Never. But obviously the culture is not to lose the face. Right, right. You will not offend someone. It's very friendly. German culture mm -hmm. is the opposite. If you meet, met a German, mm -hmm. you would sometimes think they are angry because first of all, the language is tough and then we are very direct. Do you think your your um, workers or your staff feel that way towards you? Feel that you're always angry? I hope not, yeah. So uh, I consider myself not being a little bit culturally mm. um, aware. Maybe later I can visit your office and ask them. Please. I, I will. Yeah. I think people here are more open than where I'm from because oh. we know Paris is um, is seen like with bad people and um, bad educated but it's just here it's different. I've not been here for too long but uh -huh. I can see differences and I love it. Very kind. That's very very kind, very smiley. First day but we are very uh, happy to be yeah. here. I think uh -huh. it's uh, like a surprise, good, yeah. good energy, uh -huh. yeah, good mood. You don't find people too shy here in Taiwan? Shy? No. Yeah. Oh. And open minding, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, more than other over country in Asia. I've been actually now on the road for 14 years, yeah, mm. uh, traveling around the countries. I do like it because it cons constantly uh, forces me to reinvent myself because every country is so different. Right. And when you work on yourself, flexibility, mm -hmm. it obviously keeps you fresh. Yeah. And I always say to my wife, we can still sit with uh, 70 in front of the fireplace, mm -hmm. and then we have at least something to talk about about all our yes. nice places. We how about your kids because they'll have to change school after school in different countries and they'll have to make new friends that's a very good question what I believe is if the family is is, is strong then you can so can can get this really uh, smooth how do you work on it to make the family you to have, have to a strong the, relationship you have to spend the time mm -hmm. you have to participate obviously in some of the events you have to go for travel together mm. when we um, went to some places it was always a family decision 
my kids, for instance, uh, were doing a PowerPoint pre presentation on Taiwan, why Taiwan is the right one. So they, they went to the internet, they looked at the strengths. Mm -hmm. So for instance, here to Taiwan, uh -huh. my wife didn't want to. Mm -hmm. My kids, they said, but mommy, this is interesting. We've mm. never been in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Let's do that.